Hello everyone, welcome back to Momentos de Tecnología, Technology Moments. Mm, we have right now, um, we're going to share with you in this video our experience that we have had with Windows authentication based on Hello and the fingerprint and the biometric support that Windows has. We're going to use specifically this mini USB fingerprint reader which uh, is readily available for Windows 10 and it is an Amazon's choice and a bestseller. Basically what we're going to do is that we are going to improve the logon. Uh, once for example we log the computer and we have to log back on with the PIN or in this case for example the PIN which is in our opinion very insecure. We're going to use this dongle that basically what it does is reads your fingerprint and very quickly lets you access to your system. It not only does that but also encrypts file and lets you protect the most important files in your computer. Let's, uh, let's open it and see the whole process of configuration of our USB reading, uh, fingerprint reading. Once we open it, we connect it to an available USB. Let's take a look and see that it is exactly the same size as a USB transmitter for our mouse and it's a little bit larger and the reader is in the in the shiny end of the of the dongle okay once we connect it we're going to see that it is going to be very quickly available as a device in our device manager let's go to the device manager and take a look in some uh, in some versions of this process of installing this USB dongle we have seen that it creates like an additional virtual USB memory with a driver but we're going to go directly to the to the web page of the provider and we're going to mm, install the software that uh, or the latest software available from their web page we select their only fingerprint USB dongle reader and we're going to see that actually the they tend to say that it is the fastest available for reading your fingerprint and it is actually very fast and we're going to proceed to download uh, not only the USB driver we're going to to download the PQI uh, key SF installer and we're going to see mm, maybe the user manual too we're going to speed up this process very quickly so we can um, so we can take a look at what's really important Okay, so now that our downloads have finished, we're going to proceed to uh, opening the folder. We're going to unzip our files in the in a sub. It is a process that we have sped up for you right here mm, again. And once it is finished, we're going to agree to the terms and we are going to follow the instructions on the screen. It takes us, of course, to the to their website. We can uh, close this uh, browser. It tells us that there is another uh, another software available, but well, we're going to see that later. Right here, we see like the control panel where we can not only enroll more fingerprints, but also encrypt our files and folders that we're going to see later. Right now, we're going to double click uh, the software shortcut that was created in the desktop. And we're going to see also that here in the configuration in the accounts menu, we find that it is already available the option for the fingerprint login. Uh, once we double click the fingerprint manager we're going to type our Windows password and we're going to click on the finger that we're going to enroll or which we are going to to use to log on to Windows. We start just tapping at the end of the USB dongle you do it very quickly uh, if you want you can do it in various positions as this is a 360 laptop we might need uh, to tap with our fingerprints in a different position once we do it it tells us to restart the computer but it's not necessary we lock it right here and it tells us that we need to to enter our pin also so if you want to use only your fingerprint you might want to go to the configuration in the windows control panel and remove let's go down remove the pin we go back we lock our computer and then just tap in the USB dongle fingerprint reader
And that's all. It is a very simple process, it is very quick, and it is very, very accurate with the fingerprints. Right here we can add more fingerprints if we need to do so. And now we're going to see an additional feature that was uh, very interesting for us to, to evaluate as the fingerprint authentication also is good for having access to, uh, to a, um, an encrypted folder. We click on the, on the third icon right here. Uh, let's create, no, let's not create a folder. Let's just go here. We're going to choose a path, which is, let's choose the desktop. Press OK, and this one is the name of the folder that is going to be encrypted. You press OK, it tells us to upgrade the application, of course, and as you can see, it creates automatically this folder that is going to be a secure folder. Let's double-click that folder. Let's drag and drop one file, this image. We double-click it and we open it as we see the content. We close it back and you're going to see how uh, automatically, as soon as the software, you, you almost saw it right there, um, uh, we can close this application and it is running in the background. We're going to double click on the folder again and we're going to see that it has been encrypted. We double click it, but we will have to provide our fingerprint in order for that picture to be opened or that file to be opened, which is very cool. Actually, it's very fast. Let's drag another one. And as you can see, as the software releases it, it encrypts it. Let's create another bitmap and let's create, for example, um, Let's create a Word document. Let's open this one. As you can see, just by very quickly, very quickly, it reads our fingerprint. Let's create this uh, Word document. We're going to, to make a very, very fast edition of this document. Then we close it, we save it. And as soon as Word releases the document, it encrypts it and closes it. Now that we have it, we can double click again, we can use our fingerprint to, to open it, and that's all. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. You're going to be enjoying very much this dongle as it is very useful, very fast to log on to Windows. And remember that we do not have any commercial relationships with the brand uh, or the brands that we use in the video. We only want to share our experience with technology. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time.